I'd say to be fairly camera shy now. You'll do well to get out with the tractor. Lads are busy, are they? They're over now, yeah. You going up to them? Yeah, I yeah. think we will go over and see what they're at. Jesus, camera is hard. Oh, camera. here! <laughs> Busy enough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see a camera anyway. No. Yeah. Why does Bob's land come first before yours? That's it's the question. It just, usually, it just, this year just happened to be riper. Mine is lighter land and it seemed to have put back out more secondary growth. Yeah. You're delighted once you have a premium crop. You are. <laughs> you are. Every ton is worth that bit more. It is. When you get a, a nippy year, it's it's a bit of a pain when you have loads passing and loads not passing. Yeah. Are you into whiskey, Richard? I'd like the taste of it all right, but it's not big, not in a big way, no. But you'd appreciate it now when it's your own. I will, I will, yeah. I will, I will, of course, yeah. yeah. Can't wait to get a taste, yeah. Well, with, with barley, I, I don't know, it's very, very interesting, but the climate, for one thing, is going to have a, a big dictate on it. Different land, if it's different in different minerals and things, I suppose. Yeah. Higher zinc, copper contents are lower, will that matter, I don't know. Are you into this farming now at all? No. I work as big now, it's not that I'm into glasses either, but... Yeah. <laughs> Richard, what do you call this field? This one was the Raheen. Jesus, Richard, there's nothing wrong with this. No, nice enough crop of barley here, as I say, until you go over the hill, but if it was all like this, yeah. There's nothing I could have done different, it's just the weather. So, Richard, we're in a green part of the field. What happened here? The crop of barley was a lovely crop of perfectly uniform barley until we got the drought, and then there's kind of a, a gravel bank there, or a gravelly sandy area, and the whole lot just burned up, stopped growing, whereas the rest of the field held in there. And then when the rain returned, it started to regrow again from the butt and a lot of green secondary growth came back into it. Big problem for the combine driver, there'll be a lot of quality issues come harvest time. Yeah. You'd be hoping that if it gets a bit riper, that a lot of the smaller grains might blow out the back. But if not, it, it won't be a nice sample. I enjoy walking them and trying to learn a bit from every year, seeing can you do something a little different to improve the next year. You, you had a couple of the growers events, it was very interesting, yeah. Hearing, hearing and learning and getting the tour of the distillery and that, yeah. It's probably the first distillery you're invited into. Oh, definitely, yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Oh, sure, it's very interesting for me, yeah, and you'd kind of feel proud of it if, if it did make the grade. And was it always set in stone that you were going to be the farmer in your house? Well, I always wanted to anyway. I, I didn't, hadn't, didn't ever even consider anything else. Say in school, I would have, say up to a stage I, I went regular but then after that I got a bit more intermittent so said to help out at home and that and since I was five going on the plough with me father would say when he'd be ploughing I used to get a little block of timber I used to sit at the, on the step so that's my earliest memories I suppose there's a, a really good vein of ground there in the valley it's I suppose probably over years the nutrients and the fine particles of clay washing into it it's, it's, it's nicer So this is the tank field? This is the tank field. The tank is over the further side. You can't even see it from here until you walk to the edge, kind of. And you've no bother cutting it or anything? Or should the combine, oh, no, the big no. combine, you might be in bother? I know, no, there's no bother. It is like a UFO, isn't it? I don't know. There's lots of good clay in it, so you'd have to go through a lot of effort to strip it out and then fill it in and cover back over. And you'd be actually only losing land because you'd be losing surface area. Lovely looking barley. <laughs> Thank I you. Have to say. <laughs> well, you're in the best of it. Yeah. 